Good evening and welcome back to Let's Play Metal Gear Solid 2. Now, for the first two episodes, I was just kind of fumbling around quite a bit. Um, and I was giving some advice in the comments. Thank you everyone for that. That I sh there's a like a little tutorial I can do at the beginning to kind of give me an idea of how to use the controls better. But I am i don't see where it is. Like, it's not options. And in special, I don't see anything about the combat basics or whatever. There's nothing in photo album and dog tape viewer. I try both of those. We may as well catch up on previous stories. So, the New York Mirror. In the darkness of Shadow Moses, the unofficial truth. Oh, Nastasha Romanenko. 11 pages. Some topics in the recent American past have the immediacy and the power that still engage our collective imagination. Names like the Grassy Knoll or Roswell roll off our tongue with deliberateness reserved by most other nations for holy lands. With this new non-fiction account from Nastasha Romanenko, Shadow Moses, the scene of a nuclear siege two years ago, is set to join their ranks. Official history states that the takeover of a nuclear weapons disposal facility on a lonely outpost in the Fox Islands, Alaska, was the work of a radical right-wing group. Their demands for the release of group members incarcerated in federal penitentiaries were never met, and the incident was speedily resolved by the successful deployment of a commando unit. B.S., the author asserts. Mm. Romanenko says that she served as an advisor to the nuclear emergency search team and deconstructs what she claims to be a cover-up story by the government with precision. According to the author, Shadow Moses Island was nothing less than the U.S. Army's testing grounds for a top-secret weapon known as Metal Gear Rex, an all-terrain bipedal tank with advanced nuclear capabilities. As for the facility's takeover, Romanenko alleges that it was the U.S. military's own shadowy wetworks force, known as Foxhound, that staged an armed insurrection in a bid for Rex's possession. The government responds to this crisis by sending in a lone operative, a former Foxhound member known only by the codename Solid Snake, into Shadow Moses. His infiltration is aided by a remote mission control team consisting of an unidentified Colonel Campbell, a Foxhound medical chief, Naomi, a radar and electronics expert, Mei Ling, supposedly a teenager, and the author herself. Once on the island, Snake joins forces with Metal Gear's developer-turned-prisoner Otacon to eradicate the weapon of mass destruction. Among the other remarkable characters that make an appearance in Romanenko's expose is another Foxhound commando, a revolver virtuoso called Shalashashka, a.k.a. Revolver Ocelot. One of the most controversial allegations in the book deals with this figure's connection to a disavowed Russian militia led by a Colonel Kurlukovich. Romanenko paints a bleak picture of a thousand-strong, highly disciplined army with nuclear weaponry operating covertly within the American border. Even more irresistible to conspiracy scholars and students of recent history is her thinly-veiled suggestion that the whole affair was planned from the beginning by certain forces inside the U.S. government. The U.S. Army and the usual suspect of federal agencies have issued a statement denouncing the book as a complete fabrication. However, with a number of detailed eyewitness accounts that back up the author's assertions cropping up daily on the web, the denials serve more to enhance the book's growing reputation. Shadow Moses is an engrossing read for casual and serious readers alike, and promises to involve readers in a meaty debate over the truth of the matter for many years to come. Excerpted from the literary review column All Booked Up, The New York Mirror. <laughs> Metal Gear Solid VR missions. What's that? All right. Wait, are these more stories? No, this is the one we just. Oh crap! But what's this? The shocking conspiracy behind Shadow Moses. Oh, by Gary McGolden. A hundred and twenty-nine pages. All right, we might do this at some point, guys, but I'm <laughs> I'm not up for 129 pages right now. That's a lot huger than I thought it would be. Let's just get back into the action. Um, so yeah, I don't I I don't know how to do the little tutorial bit, which I would really really like. So we're just gonna continue to wing it. Oh yes. All right, that's right. We took her down. Oh, oh, oh! Get that for sure. And let's actually immediately 
just put it on in case. Okay. Vault on out of there, Snake. You can do it. Rawr. Okay, wait. Can I... Is this a locker? No. The comment said... Whoops! That I can drag unconscious body? Although, can I really drag her? Maybe she's an exception. Okay, this is enough messing around. We'll just leave her there for now. It should be fine. Can I... Up. Can I jump over here? No, it wouldn't be... That's a big fall. It would probably hurt us. Okay, so... Here's a door. Oh! Hmm... Where is this going? Oh, I was hoping there'd be goodies hiding there. We'll climb all the way up. Let's see what's at the tippy top. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Let's do a spin around on this level just in case. Up, up, up. Up to the side. There you go. I wonder if he... Can he slide along those cables? Probably not. Alright. Well, that guy's getting kind of close, huh? Don't look up here. There he is. Okay. Don't. Okay. S Snake, you gotta, you gotta get off the ladder, man. There we go. Now then. Uh, uh. Oh come on! We should be able to to peek over the edge and get him right. Really? You can't, like, lean over and turn around, down. I don't think we're going to be able to get a shot in. That's the wrong angle. Okay. Alright, we're just gonna have to climb down and make it happen. Oh boy. Alright, commit to it, Lavinia. Go down. Don't you turn around. You don't see me? It's nothing. Uh, get up. Ah! <laughs> this isn't the way to do it. Ugh. Stop it. Oh, I was gonna... Punch that guy, he got me. Up, 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 up. Okay, just hang out here for a minute until they settle down. Hopefully they won't think to look up there. Alright. Oh, excellent. I'm 
it is saying be cautious. Whatever, we're going for it. Now then, there's someone very close by here. But where? Oh, it's just another unconscious guy. Okay, you guys are both out, that's fine. Now then, I just want to see what was on the other side of this. Aha! Now wasn't there, like, another door I could have gone through? Yeah. And I didn't want to because there was a big light shining. There we go. Navigational deck. Starboard wings. What does this do for us? Is that something I can pick up? Climb up. No. Oh, I bet this loops around behind to the other side. Okay, go up here. <laughs> A wet box. <laughs> well, oh, let's have some fun with boxes. Wet and weak. Um, will this one get wet and weak if I use it? I, we are outside, so maybe this is the... Look at how crappy that box is. Okay, yeah, and this just goes back up to where I was, right? Is that the same? Yeah, and then this is where I fought her. Uh, so where do I want to go right now? The orange. I can't climb up here as an orange. <gasps> that guy's back up. Oh man, that's a lot of people everywhere. Let's actually call Arakan. Hey, Snake, you found a handgun. Yep. Uh, it's a decent one. USP. The USP fires real bullets, not the knockout rounds the M9 uses. You know that, right? Yeah. The USP isn't equipped with a suppressor either. If you fire it when there are enemies nearby, they'll probably hear it. Mm. Keep that in mind. Having the USP will make combat easier, but being undetected is still the best way to go, okay? Yeah. And ideally, I'd kind of rather not kill people if I can avoid it. I like the idea of knocking them out. Oh, you need to save? Just a second. Yeah, let's go ahead. Might as well. Sure. Lay it on okay. me. See you, Snake. Oh, you don't have any fun mailingisms? Oh, come on! I was enjoying those. Oh, this is people everywhere. Is this even the way I want to go? Okay, put your box back on. This isn't where I want to be. <gasps> yeah, 
Yes. I heard you were calling me. What is it? All right, Atakan, give me some advice. Oh, sorry, buddy. I need to hit the proper buttons. This is the bridge, but it's not just a place where you steer the ship. Yeah. In a modern tanker, navigational, engine control, communication, and all other major operational functions are consolidated in the bridge. The ship is autopiloted via a global positioning satellite system. This is a precision instrument we're talking about here, so it's probably best to leave it alone. Okay, but you wanted to find out where it's going. So I probably need to check something, right? Do I need to use my camera? I have not used my camera at all yet, so possibly should. Square for photos, zoom in with O. Is that useful? I don't know. Hmm. Box. So I don't think I want to climb up there, but I don't know, what do I want to do here? Oh, she's gone now. Hmm. Did I want to look at around with my camera up here? So much climbing. Let's try it. Go all the way to the top. What a lovely picture. meant to zoom in. Okay, and no, we're not going to see this thing in the water, are we? Nah, it's raining and everything else. And that's just part of the boat, right? Alright. We've got a bunch of unuseful pictures. Well, that's enough of that. This guy's up top again. Oh, whatever. I don't even care. We're just going to let him go around and I'm just going to leave him up here. It's fine. Why would you do that? Come on, get down and stay down. Great. I don't know, do I even feel bad about that? It's not like I really have accomplished too terrible much. Okay. I'm just a little dead.
Okay. I don't think this is the place to go. I think we gotta head down and, and try and find confirmation that they're dragging along some kind of Metal Gear. So... How do I get out of here again? First, don't get spotted by the camera. Oh, that's right. This part's all useless. Okay, just hold still. Just a box. Oh, I kind of miss him saying, huh? Just a box. Just a suspicious box following you down the corridor. Didn't even look. This is gonna be it. <laughs> just a box, just a box. <laughs> it's just a box, guys. Don't even work. Shoot. Can this possibly work? Just waiting it out in the box? Don't kick my box! Why you gotta mess with my box like that, huh? Fine. I got another plan. Get in there! Snake! That's not- no, This none of this is how to do it. Open up. Get in there. Get get in there. There. <laughs> they gotta totally know I'm here. They saw me step in here. Are they gonna open it up? I know you're in that locker. It worked. It worked. We're just gonna hang out in here a moment. Okay, we're gonna wait until it goes down from the caution just to standard and okay. And then we're gonna step out, sneaky like. And we're gonna trank that guy. Alright. Okay, so there's still someone pacing up and down this hallway, right? Yeah, because I don't want to pop out at the wrong time. Uh, we'll let him pass by again, and then go out behind him and hit him with the gun. Okay. Oh. I should probably have followed him and got him from behind, but... Oh. 
There we go. Now, up. So what's gonna be the best way to get around this camera? Chaff grenade. Oh, that was awful. <laughs> it still worked, whatever. Where's the sleet suit again? Oh, nowhere. Alright. So, obviously, the things to do here. Let this guy stand there, turn around, go get him. Where is he? Okay. I see. Do I even need to mess with him? Let's go this way. Okay, I can't quite. But from here, maybe. Whoops. Nobody. Ow. Oh. Okay, good. Going on? Nothing's going on. He's fine. <sighs> we'll just wait here a minute while the backup unit checks it out. Guys, stepping out there. The situation is normal. All clear. They woke him up. I should have known. Oh, settle down, heartbeat. That was interesting. Okay, where's my radar, though? Oh, this is not a good place to be. Can I even see if this guy walks past? We're just gonna have to take a chance. Or just hope he's really terrible at his job, that too. Get up. Where is he? Right here. Freeze. <gasps> I held him up. Excellent. So how do I like move this body around? And put him in a locker? Because I kinda really want to. What am I? Okay, whatever. We'll work it out later. Well, hello there, Ration. Good to see ya. Yeah, what's in here? familiar. Let's look around here a little bit more first. Hey, that's handy. Nope. Okay, is this the stairwell? Yes, this is the blocked one. So, to get 
this fella. I should be able to... Maybe from, like, here? Not quite. Alright, what if I just stand up like a normal person? Maybe. Uh, uh, almost, but we aren't quite there. Come on. Just a little more. Alright, just wait and do it proper. Now would have been the time, but... We'll let him come down here again. There we go. Let's wait in case we can go in there. What do you mean? Uh -uh. Alright, and then this is just the full circuit, right? Right. And then this is... No, this is where I came down. I don't need to go through here. But wait, that means that this door... isn't gonna work. I had to keep better track of where I am at any given time. Okay. So, before everybody wakes up, um, try going around this way. I'm gonna need to get through here. Okay, so I think my plan now is just to work my way down. But I'm gonna go ahead and wind the episode down here. Please like and subscribe if you've enjoyed this. Come back and next time we'll see if we can't get towards the bottom of this ship and hopefully get a glimpse of this Metal Gear.